Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I have an Irish whiskey, Spade and Bushel Amorone. All right, this is a limited edition, 1,600 bottles at the moment, 50 euros. This is a five-year-old whiskey. Thank you very much for putting an age statement on the Irish whiskey. Four years in ex-bourbon casks and 12 months in these Amorone casks from North Italy. Amorone is a very deep, dark, rich red dessert wine from the northern area of Italy, northeast. And um, they take the grapes, they actually harvest them, put them up on the uh, like the attic or the barn, let them dry, and then they actually ferment and make the wine out of that. Then they actually store those in oak barrels. These oak barrels at the moment are very, very popular, very in for finishings. Uh, many, many different distilleries, especially the smaller distilleries, are using Amorone casks at the moment. So, um, whiskey base, not in there. According to Celtic Whiskey um, Shop, this has an ABV of 42.3%. My sample I actually got here from the um, Whiskey Live Dublin 2019. The brand ambassador, Ella Narrot, gave this to me, and she said it was 45. At least I wrote down 45%. I might not have understood her. Um, there's a nice, actually, interview online at Facebook, um, on my Facebook page, as well as hopefully one day, or hopefully also on YouTube, you can see that interview where she talks about the new releases here from Connacht Distillery. A very brief um, history of Connacht Distillery for me, basically what you had was um, two Americans um, that had been very, fairly successful in life, let's just say that, um, went back to Ireland, met their relatives, and they were drinking tea, that's what I imagine, and said, hey, let's build a distillery, good idea, I've got money, we've got connections, they did that. On the very, very northwestern part of Ireland, which is very difficult to reach if you're there, um, but they have a great distillery, and I'm actually looking at buying maybe a cask there, um, which is very, very good, being one of the founding fathers of Connacht. Um, very, very nice stuff. So I've reviewed so far their Spade and Bushel, 10-year-old, which was basically coolie juice that they uh, bottled at cast strength, and they've actually done a second edition now, which is a 40-some percent. And this is five-year-old. This is probably not coolie. I might be wrong. I don't know. Is Great Northern Distillery, were they around five years ago to actually make something like this? Mm, not 100% sure about it. Middleton, no. Dingle doesn't give the juice either. What I'm guessing is, um, just for a guess, this is basically, I think it might be Bushmills. Bushmills, actually, when they were sold from Diageo, um, not sold, they were traded. It was <laughs> traded for the um, tequila distillery, or just tequila plant down there in Mexico. A lot of casks kind of made it on the market here and there. I think they actually had the opportunity to buy some of those casks. As I said, a limited edition. This is basically four or five casks at the moment, 1,600 um, bottles four five casks from bourbon is enough to do that usually at 42.3 percent it's so new there's not even a whiskey base number at the moment um 12 month finished in the amorena casks now in the nose the amorena um is overwhelming it's red wine it's a very weak red red wine it's a little bit pungent i'm going to use a word i don't use a lot but it actually is um i don't particularly like that nose but wait. Hmm. That works really well with the wine, with the, with the wine and the whiskey, though. Hmm. There's a nice, ready raspberry note that comes in there. Hmm. That is actually good. It, it complements the whiskey in a very, very fine manner. Congratulations, Spade and Bushel. Congratulations, Connacht Distillery. First of all, for your courage to put the five-year statement on the bottle. I love that. Give me eight statements every day. It's a three, it's a four, it's a five, it's a seven, it's an eight, it's a 12, it's a 29-year-old. I don't care. Um, I want to know how old it is. Transparency is the king today. We know four years in those ex-bourbon casts, and we know 12 months in these Amorona casts. Thank you for that information. Now, if I were going to buy this whiskey just um, based on its on the nosing, I would have said, Arr. but mm, it's got a wonderful finish. 
This is a long, fruity, nice finish, and it's not overpowering. The wine doesn't overpower the whiskey. The wine complements this whiskey in a manner that I've had very, very seldom with Irish whiskey. I've had it with bourbon. I've had it with scotch. I've had it with some other things. Um, but Irish is not very. It's not the land of the best finishings at the moment. And especially Amorone is not something that Ireland has um, dabbled in yet, experimented with, but other distilleries, German distilleries, other distilleries, um, even German importers take some Scottish whiskey and put it in an Amorana cask for six to eight months, and afterwards it turns into something that was, eh, into something miraculous. And I had the same feeling here. This is really, really nice. This is like a B whiskey for me. I would not have expected that. 50 euros. Wow, this is like a C plus whiskey. Very, very good. Now, I did add some water in my German um, video. Didn't do much. Didn't change it. Didn't, didn't um, dilute it a tiny little bit. Didn't open it up much. It's actually as it is. And also, if you take a look at the, the maturation compared to the finish, we have four to one. Um, we have four years versus one year. A one-year finish is actually great, enough time for it to mature, enough time for it to marriage, enough time for it to actually come together and to create a whiskey that does not fight the origins, but rather supports that whiskey. Will you be lucky enough to be get one of those 1,600 bottles out there? I probably don't think so. That's one of my curses and one of my blessings as the... Um, whiskey t t reviewer I get to taste things you might not actually have ever heard of and might not actually ever see mm. Mm. I like a solid B as a taste mm. and a solid C to C plus for value for money Wow. This has everything you need, all right? It's um, transparency, limited edition, fairly good price, great taste, very, very good stuff. Your Connacht, watch Connacht Distillery. I think what they're doing is going to be great in the future. I wasn't all that pleased with the tiny little bottles back then of the Spade and Bushel 10-year-old. They used the Spade and Bushel moment for their source whiskeys. Yeah, and so anything with Spade and Bushel, Bushel, they're creating a, um, a brand, and then they're going to release, probably about two to three more years from now, they're going to research, release their own triple and double distilled. Double distilled is the natural, is the normal, but they also do some triple distillation there, which is very special. All right, thank you very much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please tell others. My question of the day is, what other whiskeys do you know out there with an Amoroni um, cask finish or even maturation? For example, I do know that um, the German whiskey producer, St. Kilian, did their batch number two um, in Amorone the entire time maturation. It was very, very interesting. I had a hogshead. I had an um, ex-bourbon barrel, so 250 um, or 225, 200, and I actually had a little tiny 50-liter barrel. Oh, that was so good. That was like honey, cherry, maturation goodness. Oh, um, watch out for Amorone. Amorone cast will be more and more in the news. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, tell others, share the video, and tell others about those whiskeys um, that you might have seen but haven't had a chance to taste yourself. Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of American in Europe, tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Bye-bye.